The Discovery Key Care Range is a subsidized plan. The Council of Medical Scheme has basically uh, forced all private medical care, uh, medical aids to provide a plan like this that is subsidized by the rest of the scheme. And it's to encourage lower income earners to get onto some form of medical cover. Um, so it's actually a wonderful plan, really, really well worth the money that you spend, especially if you're a lower income earner or a student. Um, it's, I kind of describe it like, like your old fashioned medical aid. This is the key care plus. You pay a certain premium based on your salary. I think it's if you're earning um, under 8,500, uh, you get it at the most subsidized rate, the cheapest rate, and it's household income. So you have to add the, the, the husband and the wife or the two spouses, you have to add that income together to, to you know, be under that level. Um, so you pay a certain premium and you get unlimited, pri unlimited private hospital care. So, uh, but it's at a certain range, list of hospitals. So you need to check that on the, uh, just Google uh, Discovery Key Care Hospitals 2018 and they'll give you the list and you can check if there's one in your area. Um, you have un basically unlimited GP visits um, to your disposal, but they have to be key care GPs. So you have to actually find two GPs in your area and be happy with those and those are the doctors that you choose and you can only change them once a year um, when you go and see that doctor whatever medicine he prescribes is covered blood tests x-rays if he feels that you need to go to a specialist that will be covered but he is the portal so you would if you feel you need to see a specialist you will always have to go and see your key care doctor first before you get to see your specialist it also covers, as I said, blood tests, x-rays. It covers um, dental, just basic dentistry, like fillings and cleaning and all of that. Um, and I'm sure like abscesses and, and yeah, anything that's got involving, it, it's basic dentistry. Uh, it also covers optometry. So you get one pair of spectacles um, every two years. Um, right, I think that's covered the, 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 the old fashioned medical aid side of things. Um, then you get the key care core, which I think it's such a little difference in premium from key care core to key care plus that it's a bit of a pity because it's only um, private hospital, unlimited private hospital cover in a hospital. And it also includes your chronic conditions. So if you have one of, I think it's 27 chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. If you have one of those conditions, your medication will be covered on a specific formulary list, as well as two visits to a doctor or a specialist, whichever one you have to see to manage your chronic condition. So that's what's covered under the key care core. And then you have key care access. Um, I'm a little bit unfamiliar or unsure of why, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't have any clients on this, but I think it basically covers you for maternity and then some trauma cover, like if you're going to a, um, a hospital, just for the trauma though, not for other hospitalizations. Um, and I think day-to-day -day doctors. So there's no actual private hospitalization besides your maternity that is covered under the key care access. So that is your key care range. I think I've mentioned everything. Oh no, that's all the good stuff. So the bad stuff, what I call the, the pros and the cons, the cons part, is that there's quite a uh, list of exclusions and you need to go through those. So these are what I would call your kind of and I say this in inverted commas, non-essential um, operations, because if anyone's ever needed them, you'll know that they are essential. But it's things like wisdom teeth, varicose veins, sinus operations, and then scarily, conservative back and neck treatments and hip and joint replacements are not covered. So none of those are covered on the key care range. So what it's meant to be is, like I said, your non-essential, non-life or death kind of things. Um, and it's meant to be, the theory is that if you need one of these operations, you could kind of hang in there till the end of the year, upgrade to a plan um, at Discovery, because remember on Discovery, you can upgrade at the end of the year only, um, but downgrade at any time of the year. Upgrade, have the op, and then you could downgrade again. Um, but sometimes if something like that, like some wisdom teeth operations are so, it's such a dire need that you have to have the wisdom teeth out that you can't cope um, and then sometimes you end up having to pay for that whole op on your own and you know 15 to 18 thousand rand 20 thousand rand so so those are my uh, reservations with this plan otherwise we would all be on this plan um, yeah 
so, so the, just have a good look at that exclusion, exclusion list, and that is in a nutshell your key care plan.